Okay, it is 9.42 a.m. and right now I want to see if this thing can make a move above VWAP and really continue the uptrend. I didn't really want to be a part of this at this point in the pattern because sometimes when a stock is having a morning panic bounce set up and VWAP is so close to it, it means that the actual bottom is not there yet and it's going to downtrend some more. But sometimes it is so close to it that it means it's going to break past it and make a move towards the upside and I'm going to have to really um i guess focus more and try to differentiate between those two but this one in theory could make a move to the 140s and maybe even higher over a longer period of time this thing was down as low as 30 percent on the day and i had two trades one of them was pretty early and the second one was the better trade i was in at 932 136.5 so right here i was in it for the first time and I pretty much got in way too early. I got in the moment I saw that a potential level 2 reversal was happening. And I just had a fear of, I guess, missing the setup. So I did try there. And I was in right here, 100 shares. And then when I saw that the price action wasn't looking good and that it was probably going to break below the day low, I did get out at 9.33 the same. Um, actually, no. Yeah, the, the next minute at 9.33, I got out right here at... 132 and a half so right around here is when i got out and that just saved me from this bottom as low as the 120s it, it looks it's looking like it's actually trying to get to the 140s let's see how this does there's a lot of support at 138 all right that's looking nice so yeah i had that first trade there i was too early i lost just four bucks in theory i shouldn't have traded it. i should have uh, no, actually, it wasn't too bad, because it could have reversed right there. Yeah, it, it definitely could have reversed right there. And then the second trade, I was in at 934, uh, 1, 2, 3, so right here I was in at uh, this point right here in this candle. And this was a pretty good entry. I saw the level 2 reversal. I think there was a lot of people building up at the bid at 120 and like the 122s. I believe and i was here at 123 i was going to cut it if it were to have broken it and i did trade more shares because you know now that i've been trading a 15 dollar risk level i'm thinking does that mean with stocks over a dollar i should be trading 150 shares instead of 100 so i went ahead and did 150 shares and probably a little petty because i <laughs> i lost in the other one so i i went a little more in size but in theory i think i should be trading 150 shares with a $15 risk level in most cases with stocks over a dollar and I got out the next minute at 130 at 935 so 935 right here at 130 not really the best sell but I just didn't like how VWAP was right there and I just felt like it was going to continue the downtrend but it's actually doing a good job besides this little scary wick here and that's really about it. I haven't been looking at the other ones. That's why XX, I saw it was down. There's nothing really clean there to consider trading. So I'll continue to watch NWBO, but, but that's about it for right now. Okay, it is 11.44. NWBO had a pretty crazy drop. I did trade this overall price movement here twice. And I just got out of the second trade because I just really don't feel that, that comfortable with the price action it's a bit sketchy sometimes it is very congested and it feels like it almost feels like a listed stock right before it gets halted very very strange that's a lot of support at 80. that would be super supportive but people are dumping their shares yeah it's just a bit sketchy really sketchy price action anyway um i did lose in the first one here i did try the morning i guess it's not even no definitely not a morning panic bounce play this was a midday bounce play and it had this drop from the 140s as low as 82 cents which is pretty massive it looks like it is trying to uptrend i don't know this price action isn't really that nice anyway I was in at 1127, 100 shares at 8979. Let me remove this trend line. And actually, let me get rid of extended hours, even though that looks kind of ugly. 
it's a lot clearer. Um, right here at 11.27, I was in at 8.979. So that was right here, this candle, 8.979. So right around here is when I got in in this candle because it was looking like it was going to potentially try to do a level two reversal. As you can see, if I could draw maybe a trend line. Right, you can see that it was clearly breaking it at that point right there in this candle. And it did get to 94, so it wasn't horrible, but it just didn't really look nice to price action. And I did get out the same minutes for a slight loss at 888. I got out at 11.27, so right around here is when I got out. I just didn't like the price action, and it did get to the 94 level, so maybe I could have been a little petty and put a sell order for what my entry was or slightly above it so I could have gotten out profitably but you know if it were to have downtrended it would have been super ugly so I'm pretty happy with the way I traded that one even though it did uptrend a little it just didn't seem right it didn't seem anything like the one in the morning that's for sure um, and then I did trade it again recently at 11.42 I did have actually a few Verified cancel orders. I did try at 11.29, I believe, and then I canceled it because I didn't like the price action anymore, and it did downtrend. And then I tried 11.39, which was right here at 78, and I think I didn't get filled here, which was fine. And then it started to downtrend, but then eventually held itself, so that's when I did get in ultimately at 11.42. And that was a bit later because 80 was a wall and it was looking like the price action was so much nicer that it was going to break it. So I wanted to be a part of it. 11.42 I did get in right here at 80 flat and I got out 11.43 at near the top. Yeah, 82.99 so right around here at 83 I got out. And it is downtrending. You can see how sketchy the price action was, especially in the morning. And um, especially now in this recording. But this can maybe try to form a head and shoulders. Inverse head and shoulders. Shoulder head. And then maybe make a shoulder, right? They could totally do something like that. Here's the shoulder of the inverse head and shoulders. Shoulder head, shoulder. And this thing can really make a move. And VWAP is very far away, so it might not get there. But... If it does, that will be super profitable. I'll continue to watch it. I don't mind if I miss out. I did, again, um, lose in this first attempt here, which was way back here a little bit. But I did make it back here, and it wasn't really the best price action. But, you know, I want to see if this thing can do an inverse head and shoulders. It didn't work with SYXX when it was down massively on the day. But maybe you can do it here. And I did consider... Trading SYXX, I think I didn't get filled or I canceled the order. I didn't like it anymore. 11.24 right here is when I had an interest at 4.02. Yeah, I think it was around here. But what happened was is that it just blew past my limit. So I wasn't able to be a part of it. It got a little higher and um, it got back to the lows. And I kind of left it alone because I started to look at NWBO. But... Yeah, let's see if this thing does an inverse head and shoulders. It, it could really do one, and it could be massive. It might even try to downtrend some more and make a proper shoulder. Of course, it's not too perfect because the shoulder here is way higher. But this thing could totally do one, and I'll be watching that. And if it does something super obvious, I might consider it. Otherwise, I'll probably leave this one alone because it is kind of strange the way it trades sometimes. But it's a lot better than SYX6, that's for sure. Okay, it is 12. I had one more trade. I don't think I'm going to trade this anymore. This thing was just way too rich for my nerves. It just felt really uneasy. So I'm not going to trade it again unless it does something really stupid obvious. But this looks like an inverse head and shoulders. And then we're at 12. So, you know, 12 p.m. It could be like a midday reversal too. So... This thing could really kill it and go to $1 um, above VWAP, best case scenario. But because, again, VWAP is so far from 
where it is right now it would be really impressive for it to get there so in most cases it doesn't get to be wet but this is like an inverse head and shoulders it's down 57 percent on the day you know it's like it just fell off a cliff this thing doesn't have to bounce and i try to remind myself that multiple times it doesn't have to bounce it could just fall to the floor and then break it even more and start i don't know going underground but I got in it, it just felt way too uneasy because it feels like this could be the kind of thing where it does the inverse head and shoulders, a shoulder head and then the shoulder, but then it just gets to the neckline, right? Which the level is here 80 cents and then it just fails and continues to downtrend or maybe just consolidate, but not really do like a super nice move. But I think it could also do it. And if it does, I think it could be really nice. I was in at 1158 right here 1158 when it looked like it was trying to reverse because there was a lot of big buying price action going on and yeah i mean it was looking nice at the time i got in at 76 at 1158 right here i was in right here at 76 i had a pretty good entry with fidelity right here and then i did get out at 77 and a half 11.59 which was right here right around here is when i got out yeah it is downtrending i just didn't like the price action but this thing can totally eventually maybe over the next few hours do something nice or maybe it could even downtrend here and be like a baby higher low from this bottom but i just don't like how we're so close to this 80 level and you know there's a lot of sellers there it could it could be something nice but i just had a trade because it looked to that nice but i think i'm going to just try to take a step back even if it goes to 190 i just want to just watch it i guess and learn from the price action and sit on my hands potentially unless it just does something so amazing but i did have one more trade there and let's see if this can end up being maybe a baby high or low or if it's going to actually fall off a cliff and break this which would be pretty impressive to break this higher low and the overall bottom that would be very impressive if it actually does that all right it is 8 26 p.m and i am here to call it off overall i am up on the day nine dollars and 44 cents trading nwbl six freaking times different setups throughout the entire day morning panic bounce plays and then late morning panic bounce plays and eventually i did take a trade one more trade and this last trade i only traded 10 shares because i just wanted to see if the setup would work i think it was in the last recording when i was talking about the potential head and shoulders the shoulder the head and the shoulder and how i think it would be pretty impressive for it to break not just the shoulder level but also the head and that's exactly what it has done it seems like these inverse head and shoulder setups do not work out when a stock is really down a lot and i did buy just 10 shares this is like you know a seven dollar position i just want to get the trading experience i'm not trying to really make or lose anything and i was in at 1209 10 shares at 74.2 so that was right here and what i should have done here is that this was like the inverse head and shoulder shoulder head shoulder and then the second higher low here I should have cut the trade immediately once it was breaking this level right here the shoulder and i guess it was pretty close to the day low but what i ended up doing was cutting it once it was looking like it was going to break the day low I, again i probably should have cut it right when the shoulder was breaking and that would have allowed me to um, not lose as much again just a tiny uh, seven dollar position and i got out at 12 16 when it was clearly not working and it was looking like it was going to break the day low and even continue to do something more it did continue to downtrend a pretty sharp downtrend from the 68 level as low as 39 which is massive and i was watching it here actually but i didn't take the trade and you know it sucks that i missed the overall move towards the upside but the way it got there was kind of hard but maybe in the future i can have that much more experience and i can actually trade it right then and there and it did also i believe have the max volume no actually no this was the max volume but this was um a very high volume bar so you can see right here there's one right here and there's one right here and of course the one in the morning so 
that was pretty cool and then it did offer a really nice i think like a 45 plus percent move and it even got above vwap which is pretty impressive i don't think i'll be really interested in trading this maybe this thing um can have like a rebound day but that seems pretty sketchy pretty hard but i guess we'll just have to see what that is looking like tomorrow that's it with the day here and i think i was good overall i do feel kind of bad that i messed the overall turnaround and i'll be watching for this price action in the future especially when it just started it's kind of hard to see now but when it was at i guess that made it kind of harder to read but when it started having this weird price action i can't really get it to show and each trade is not the best was zooming in but when it started doing this little flickering right here that seems kind of interesting and i'm going to take more in the consideration um actually not here but this little right here but yeah that's really about it traded it a bunch of times missed the overall big one but you know pretty happy with the way i traded overall oh and actually one more thing to mention even though i didn't get any trades on also happy that I was trying to be a part of the 11 a.m. reversal setup with SYXX, which was down a considerable amount on the day. Even though I missed it, I like how it ultimately did an inverse head and shoulders here, the shoulder head and the shoulder. And this one actually worked out. And this one was also down a lot. So actually, this is a case where the setup played out. And it made a move from the 40 level to the 44s. And then they got to VWAP. It even got above it. So that was like... You know, a pretty nice, um, I think, what, 20% move, right? Something like that. Just a really nice move here. I'm also happy that I tried there, even though I didn't get any trades there. I need to start being more aggressive in terms of these 11 a.m. reversal setups.